Hi, I'm Rob Cos and welcome to my shop. This is a follow-up to a video that we posted a couple of weeks ago on a new approach to transferring dovetails to pins. So if you haven't seen that, you may want to watch that in order for this to make sense. But what we were doing was offsetting the tailboard over the pin board by using a piece of dovetail saw blade so that we would get that offset the exact size of the kerf. Well, I got lots of requests for pieces of dovetail saws and I don't have a lot to give away, so here I come up with a better idea. Take your dovetail saw, sitting on a surface that is hard, set your marking gauge on there, and if you remember how we set the marking gauge to determine or to get the thickness of the tailboard or pinboard, do the same thing out at the end so that you include the set, drop the cutter down, so now the cutter represents the thickness of the saw blade including the kerf out from the brass head. Then when you come over here to transfer the two, simply set the tool, the head based on the, or referencing off of the bottom, slide the tailboard over, and now you've got the offset precise. Now, I've got another little tool to show you. It's a blade that we're gonna get made so that you can replace the blade in your dovetail marking knife. And instead of having to go in there, and hold the saw blade, which for some folks that's kind of hard on the hand. So what we were doing was dropping the saw blade in and then dragging it through. Well, if we want something a little bit easier, we now have a little, or we soon will have a little replacement blade that will go down that kerf, and then as you drag that through, that will give you an exact, precise mark, transferring the tail down to the pin board. And you go through, and in this case, I'm doing the right side of each tail then what I have to do is I've got to offset in the opposite direction. <clears throat> well, if the two pieces aren't exactly the same width, if you measure the, the other offset from over here, it may throw you. So what I'm going to do instead is now reference the brass head on the top piece and then slide it over until the cutter or the end of the cutter touches the bottom piece. Now as long as you have two sides flush all the time, everything will work. And I'm going to go to the opposite or the left side of the tailboard, put the... Uh, knife down in there and just go ahead and transfer that tailboard onto the pin board. Now when you lift that off those kerf start the marks are already there you simply set your saw blade in the kerf and finish the cut make sure you have to have making sure you have a perfectly perpendicular cut but uh, that's easier to hold on to obviously than the teeth of the saw. Anyway, if you're interested in that, watch my site, robcosman.com. We'll have them on there as soon as we can get them manufactured. I did that one up myself. Any questions, drop us a line. You can also go on and have a free month in our online workshop by visiting freemonthonrobsworkshop.com. See you soon.